Day's activity. We've got the middle crowd down there, down there doing stuff at the gate, just tidying the drive. The youngest crowd have been working with the U uh, IBC tax. We've also taken down the really been in blue barrel that we had. I saved this job for them and they're they're patronising me by being overly grateful for letting me wrap these tanks in, in black cling film. So we're just reinforcing some of the corners and we're going to then get it up onto the, up onto the platform. So that's about 200 and odd metres of black cling film used. It, might, it was at least a little bit satisfying. Anyone? Yeah. yeah. I was really yeah. satisfying, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, you really missed out. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Aye, no, it's because they're just like so <laughs> strong <laughs> in the head. <laughs> it's on a little. You need to bring it out. Right, you can push it now, George. Or watch out as a spike in the wall. Get... Right, so we're going to need to do the same with the other one. Before we do though, we need to move the platform out a bit because that needs to go back against the wall. <coughs> so we have our our black clatter stealth IBC tanks up on the platform, but it was really wobbly. I mean, they sit totally fine, but I mean, it just was wobbly, so we've attached them to the wall. We've got wood into the wall, screws into the wall, and then and it's all attached, so it's a lot less wobbly. I think it'll probably need maybe some sort of heavier... I mean, for preference, we would have a big one of those big ground standing tanks and an electric pump, so for now, this is, this is a good workaround. It'll do us for the next year or two. And we may keep it anyway, because... You know, what storage of water, rainwater harvesting is a good thing to do anyway. And these guys are down spreading some leftover aggregate on one of the paths down to the down to the the recently used uh, fire pit that we've got. Good afternoon. It's Saturday. We're down on a Saturday. We're we're camping tonight. We thought we'd come down and finish off our rainwater catchment system. So I'm just down with uh, George and Thomas and as you can see they're fitting the equalisation pipe. The tank on beside George on the right hand side is actually about two thirds full so this has been connected up and it's collected water all week. The tank on the left is empty so what they're doing now is they're putting the equalisation pipe on and that will eventually connect to the plumbing so that's what we're doing just now. We've got a sign to put up, we've got two signs to put up so that'll be interesting. That's kind of a a Rubicon, that's a line cross because it's kind of like us putting our name on it but we'll, we'll, do, we'll have a ceremony so let's go over and see what they're doing. We're, we're just going to open the equalisation pipe. So if you, if you reach in there's a, the yellow thing you need to push up. So you need to push it in and then up and then back. Right, you can finish that off. It's half open, but you want to just it's open, so you want to just. There we go. Now see the red tap. Yeah, yeah that needs to open as well. Go on in. It's filling up. Yeah, we can hear that. Yeah, Do you know, it just seems a. Eh, I don't know what's going on at this place. <laughs> I really do. It's like so. Last week we had visitors, and that's been resolved. Okay, that's all been resolved, and we're happy, happy about that. But since last week we've had more visitors, and I've got to say, people are such dicks. I have to use that word, but they are. It's a common phrase, certainly in Scotland. I'm going to show you this. I might have to blot it out. So since last we were down on Sunday and obviously we noticed that people have been in but as I say that's all been fixed and we're all good, we're fine with that. Uh, this week the architects 
were supposed to be down as well doing a, a, a measured survey in the building. We don't know if they've been in or not. We will admit that we left some telltales just in case we had other visitors because our nature cameras, our trail cams, we had to take them away so poor George gets all the good jobs. We don't know if that's shit or if that if it's someone's dinner. I suspect the worst. But this is why this is why we can't have nice things. You know, you've got the area. You've got. I don't understand what's wrong with people. You know, I just don't. I just don't get it. Why do people have to be so irresponsible? This uh, wasn't here last Sunday, so it wasn't the visitors previously. This is new. I just don't know who'd do that. I just don't know who'd do that. <sighs> Gee whiz. Dirty bastards. Strictly between you and me, we're not even sure that's a jobby, but Probably is. I'm not going to get too close with the camera because nobody wants to see that, do they? Really. There's no smell, which is a bit of a... which makes me wonder. It may have been a, a a malformed stew that nobody wanted, but I think with the cloth they are. Yeah, the cloth. I think I'm going to have to have a walk around and see if there aren't any more landmines hiding. Do you know, if every time we come down we're having to like look for landmines, people have come in and like... The important thing though is our tanks are equalising and our toilet cisterns are filling up. Remember, this is temporary because the building's going to get renovated, so these will have to get moved anyway. So this is really just for when we were down and we're camping and stuff. So it's a, a short-term thing. But it looks pretty decent. Our very own rainwater harvesting system. Good for us. Well done. Good job. As I say, it's exciting. We're putting we're putting the signs up. So let's see how we go with this. Do you know what they've done which is really annoying is the, is the two dots. That should be three dots. And do you know why it should be three dots? Because it should be three dots. We're going to have to draw another dot. For shame. I've written a book, you know. You can do it for, uh, it's called Around Scotland. Uh, five star reviews. It's available, available on Amazon. Two dots. You can do a cool transition, Paul. Yeah, that's a good idea. Can you edit that though? No, you need to go closer. And, then I, and then I could do this. No, no, you just, and then you when could I'm, just, you could just when go. I move my hand, it can be there. No, no, no. But what? I have just no idea go. That. So we're doing the, the sort of the plastic solid sign now. We've found the Tofford, the Creek Veneen Outdoor Centre Trust. They just put their sign over the old outdoor centre sign. So we're going to see if we can peel it off in that picture. See, Paul, what you could have done is... Never mind. Are you still talking about your transition? It's going in the video. I've... It's already in the video. Yeah, that's a great opportunity. That's why as well. So you like to put the camera in. Yep. We had all that white... This is my fault. We had all the white space on the side and we've still managed to put our tie wraps through with those letters. Which is just my... To totally my fault. Good one, Paul. Oh well. I have to get a new sign. I'm just going to get that pen, I'm just going to colour it in and no one will notice. We will notice. <laughs> notice it from the road. Genesis. Exactly. History. <laughs> is maintained. Look at us fit in the overflow. So George has fed a wee bit of wire. We've drilled a hole. Uh, Thomas was too wasn't brave enough to drill the hole. He was worried oh, no. that he'd break it. So oh, no, you're already up there, so uh, that's his excuse. 
Uh, and yeah, anyway, so we've drilled a hole and George has fed a, a, a bit of wire through and we're feeding the inside bit of like the join for the bit of pex that will come out. So that's what he's struggling with just now. The man at work. Oh. Is it in like quite tight? Is it not going to just fall out if it, you let go? Just now? Well, if you if you let go now, will it just fall out again? Well, I don't really want to find out. <laughs> Should I put this ring on? Yep. Yeah. If we drop that, that's the only... Well, we do have other ones, but... We will basically never let you hear the... You'll have to let it disconnect everything and tip this upside down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, to no. get it out. <laughs> Actually, Thomas might fit in the hole in the top. <laughs> Is it really loose? Yeah, it's like if you let go of it, I'll Can I give you a wee suggestion? Yeah. Put your finger and hold it like that, but you're gonna need to put your finger through. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you see? Wow. This is why I get paid the big bucks. Mm -hmm. How much of this is going in? All of it. Every second of it. We had to stand here and watch it, so, so should everyone else. Which is gonna be us again. Basically just us, yeah, that's mm -hmm. all he's watching, he's just now. And your mum. Mm -hmm. I think your mum watches. Yeah, my mum, yeah. George's mum as well. So what have we what have we achieved? What's what's the We've we've made a catchment water catchment thing. What's it called? Rainwater collection rain, system. Yeah. Yep, yep. And how does it work? Uh, right. so basically how it works is the rain yeah, it goes into the roof, through the gutter and into the IBC tank. And what have we done? And the IBC tanks are linked so that they, so that they stay equalised. And there was the a flows into the blue barrel. Into the blue barrel. And what were we using the water for? The toilet. Washing away other people's. Yeah, so it would seem people that have got naked. Uh, I know the pipe work. Into the into the back of the toilets a bit, we need to tidy that up and probably it could do with being a wee bit higher but bearing in mind that when this is full, a thousand litres in each tank, so how many, that's a lot of weights, yeah, looks alright and and we've also fixed the platform to the wall Should we have like a transition now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, day two of our, of our camp and I think last night and this morning has been the wettest we've ever had camping down here. It just rained. It's dreek. Proper Scottish dreek. We'll go upstairs. We're, we've never, never actually been here. Here's a mess. Not up to my usual standards. I've never actually been here and seen upstairs when it's proper raining to see where the water's coming in. Let's go and have a look. Basically, it's coming in everywhere. At the back of the building, where the windows aren't, so that's kind of the front of the building where the windows are. That must be where the prevailing wind comes from because that side of the building leaks quite badly and it's also beginning to... the water is now making its way into the ground floor in a significant way. The back of the building is fine, so the kitchen and the hallway, which is beneath us there, is all kind of untouched, but it's getting worse. I think the other room's maybe worse. No, it's not as bad in here. This corner is bad though. Over here's dry. That was me earlier. I mean, as in, I was mopping and I spilled some water there. I didn't like have a wee accident. One of the other things that I'd forgotten about this place is here at the back door, there's this hatch here. Well, that is is a rodding point for the toilets here so you can open that up and you can get your like your rods into if there's a blockage and it honks I think maybe because it's rained so much I don't know if the rain is somehow diverting into the tank and overfilling it and that's kind of creating I don't know some sort of jobby backdraft 
I, I don't know, but it honks here. It's really smelly. Usually it was if you just flushed the toilet. Maybe if someone was in there, you'd be standing in here, someone would be having a, a number two and they'd flush the toilet and you'd get like a whiff of a warm, kind of horrible pillow in the face of, of jobbiness. But yeah, the smell here is quite bad. I think it's because it rained all night and maybe water might be getting into the... I mean, I dare... I, not 100% sure how septic tanks work, I've not looked at that yet, but I think if it overfills, it will back up, but it will eventually drain away. It's very smelly. You should do smell-o-vision. YouTube, do smell-o-vision so that everyone can enjoy this.